All right, so continuing here with 6.5, um, law of cosines for trig here. Uh, we got example three. It says a parallelogram has sides of lengths 30 and 70 centimeters, and one angle of measure 65 degrees. Approximate the length of each diagonal to the nearest centimeter. Okay, so those are 30, and those are 70. That's what we know. We also know that one angle of measure is 65 degrees. So that whole thing there is 65. That whole angle D is 65 degrees. By using theorems of parallelograms, we know that angle A and D are consecutive angles. So if they're consecutive angles, that means they add up to 180. So if this is 65 degrees, then 180 minus 65 must tell me that that whole angle is 115 degrees. Okay, so we have a triangle. That's A, that's D, that's C. I know that that whole thing is 65. I know that's 30 and that's 70. The beautiful part about this is I can figure out what that diagonal is because I can use cosines. I can use law of cosines because it's side angle side to find out what that diagonal is. So it's D squared equals a, plus, a squared plus C squared minus 2AC uh, times cosine of the angle. So that's 70 degrees plus uh, 70 squared plus 30 squared minus 2 times 70 times 30 times cosine of 65. And when you keep plugging all that in and simplifying it, which you could do all in the calculator at one time anyway, you get D squared equals 4025.0033. So you square root to find out that D is approximately 63. So that's one diagonal. This diagonal is 63. Dad, I wish you. So to find the other one, we know that, that was 115, and we still know the side lengths is the same. That's 30, and that's 70. So now everything is set up the same way. That's 30, that's 70, that's 30, that's 70, but except now it's cosine of 115 to find out what the other angle is. So once again, you just plug everything in. You can do it all in one step if you wanted to. Uh, to get 757.99. So when you square root that, you end up getting 87. So we find out that that is 87. So we know what both those diagonals are. A vertical pole 40 feet tall stands on a hillside. So there's the hillside, and there's a 40 feet tall uh, at an angle of 17 degrees with the horizon. So there's the 17 degrees. Um, approximate the minimum length of the cable that will reach from the top of the pole to a point 72 feet down the bottom of the hill. So we have ourselves a right angle. We at least know that. We know that the from here to here in the hill is 72. From here to here is 40. Um, if this is 72, um, what we can do is figure out what this angle is um, because... That's 90, that's 17, so 180 minus 90 minus 17 is 73 degrees. Then I can figure out what the other side is, because if you remember, straight lines are 180 degrees, so 180 minus 73 tells me that this little angle in here is 107. So I can now find out what the length of the cable is, approximately the length of the cable, because it's side, angle, side. So to do this problem using law of cosines, I don't know what C is, that's why I did the C squared one. And I fill in what I know. I know 40, I know 72, and I know the angle, which is 107 in between. So when you plug that all in in one shot in the calculator, you get 8,468.86. So you just square root both sides, and you end up getting approximately 92. So that cable is about 92 feet long. So now we can talk about area of triangles, and this works on any triangle, whether it's a right triangle, scalene triangle, isosceles triangle, it doesn't matter, because here's what you can do. You can find the area by doing um, side angle side. One half times the two sides times the sine of the angle between them. So basically I like to call it one half of side angle side. Um, using sine, of course, is how you can find the area of a triangle, any triangle. So, approximate the area of triangle ABC if 
A is 2.2, B is 1.3, and the angle between is 43.2 degrees. So it's 2.2 times 1.3 times sine of 43.2 times a half. And you end up getting about 0.98 centimeters squared. Approximate the area of a triangle ABC if you have um, 5 and the 3 and the angle in between is 37. So it's 1 half times 5 times 3 times sine of 37. Like it's, it's that simple to find the area of its side angle side. It's that simple. So you get approximately 4.5, uh, 1, 3 centimeters squared. Then you have Heron's formula to find the area. Um, it's S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C, and it's the square root of all of them. But to find S, you need to add up all the sides and then times it by a half. That'll tell you what that is. It's kind of a crazy formula to remember, so people don't use it very often. But if you have a triangular field and the sides are 125, 160, and 225, approximate the um, acreage if one acre is uh, 48, 40 square feet. So take all three sides, you add them together, and divide it by two, basically. So we find out that S is 255. So basically it's 255 times 255 minus 125 times 255 minus 160 times 255 minus 225 and then you square root your answer. So all I did was plug in my S, plug in my A, plug in my B, plug in my C. This is all you're doing. This is literally plug and chug. It's about remembering the formula. So you end up getting 25 times 130 times 95 times 30. Multiply all that together and square root it. So you get about 970, uh, 9,720 yards squared. But we want to know what it is in feet. So yards, there's three feet in a yard, so I times that by three, so it's 29,160 feet squared. And that's how many feet there are, but it says one acre equals 4840, so I divide that by 4840 to figure out how many acres that is, and it's about six acres of land then. It's so all that using Heron's formula. But you have to use Heron's formula if you don't know the angle is in between. If you can figure out that angle of the triangular field, then you could have just used um, the one half times side angle side. You could have done it that way, but we didn't. So this is the only way you can find the area of a triangle using Heron's formula if you don't know any angles and if it's not a right angle um, in the, there. So, Alrighty, well, if you have any questions or concerns, please email me or let me know.